What is alleged happened over the last two months is as mysterious as the place where it happened. Here in Arlington, in an isolated monastery for the Discalced Carmelite nuns, a bitter feud. Nuns and their attorney on one side, Bishop Michael Olson of the Fort Worth Diocese on the other. They don't have any proof that it happened because it didn't happen. At the center of it, Reverend Mother Teresa Agnes Gerlach. A photo of her was given to us by her civil attorney, Matthew Bobo. He tells us she is in very poor health and getting worse after all this. The diocese alleges the Reverend Mother broke her vow of chastity with a Catholic priest from another diocese. Bobo tells us Mother Gerlach denies all of it. They've filed for defamation and theft, seeking $1 million. Why don't you just come tell us what she did, the proof that you have, who this priest is? In April, Bishop Olson arrived at the monastery to investigate. The diocese characterizes the Reverend Mother's offense as, quote, admitted to violations of the Sixth Commandment, which in Catholicism refers to adultery. It has prompted investigations that could play out in Tarrant County criminal and civil courts, the Fort Worth Diocese, even involving the Vatican. Just last week, the Fort Worth Diocese shared a copy of a decree from the Vatican they claim gave Bishop Olson governing power over the monastery. He's the like, highest ecclesiastical authority in the area, you know, and it's physically in his um, diocese domain. WFAA spoke over the phone with Laura Lafave, a canon lawyer, they represent matters involving church law. She is not connected to this case, but she tells us Mother Gerlach will have a bishop-appointed canon lawyer along with her civil attorney. She says it's likely the bishop will convene a group of priests, nuns, Carmelites, and lay people to hear this case. He already has decided that she's guilty. Um, now she's got to prove she's innocent, apparently. Arlington Police is now also investigating. Attorney Matthew Bobo says the bishop took the nuns' mobile devices and computers. He says kept it from them for three weeks. Just because you're the Catholic bishop doesn't mean you're above the law. You can't just go take what you want and retain it. Uh, that's against the law. So yeah, I, I absolutely think something criminal happened. And if the story didn't have enough intrigue, this. The diocese is looking into possible marijuana use at the monastery. They shared this picture from a confidential informant. Arlington police confirms to us they are aware and looking into the marijuana allegation along with other offenses. Neither the diocese nor the bishop have accepted our interview requests, but in a statement further accused the attorney for the nuns of taking an internal matter and making it public in an attempt to embarrass and undermine the bishop. The bishop had canceled mass for the last three weeks at the monastery until Wednesday when he allowed a portion of a traditional mass. Bobo calls this spiritual deprivation and intimidation. Mass and confession to these women is like food and water to you and I. Civil hearings, appeals, and investigations are all in the immediate future at this monastery. A place of prayer and peace has lately been a place of chaos. In Arlington, I'm Joven Puniker.